Hi, this is Paul with AppWorks, and today I'm going to show you an easy way to copy and paste HTML or JavaScript into your FileMaker solution uh, without having to go through the pain of putting in a bunch of escape characters. And what I mean is if you have this HTML file that you've made and you want to display in a web viewer without having to have that file hosted somewhere, uh, what you can do is you come into the source code of it, and it's pretty simple. You copy it, and then you would think normally you could come into this web viewer, set the address starting with the data HTML, um, which normally lets you just type in HTML code, and then paste it like this and say OK. You get this error because everything in here has to be within quotations. Uh, otherwise, it's considered a, a FileMaker field or function. Um, so every time in this HTML code there is a quotation, it stops and then tries to read all this as something internal. So since that's not going to work, what you can do instead is you start off with this and you say and, we use a global variable, but you could also use a field, web viewer. Okay. And nothing's showing yet because there's no global variable. But if we come over here, we have this script and we're going to say insert text and set the target for that as this global variable. And then for the text itself, we'll paste in that HTML. And again, it's just plain text. We don't have to do anything to it because the quotations are in here, but it doesn't have to start or end with one. So you say OK. And then down here, you just say refresh the web viewer so that it loads that new data. We run this, and automatically there it is. Uh, but let's say that you want to actually have some FileMaker data in there because otherwise there's not a whole lot of point. Um, you could come in here, and maybe here, for instance, you're going to want to put in some data. So you would just do whatever you want it to be that makes sense to you, maybe just placeholder doesn't have to be in the carrots, but, um, and then you would add another step where you would say set variable web viewer. We're going to do substitute web viewer, that placeholder you put in. And then in this case, we'll just put in the product name. And that should work just fine. As you see now, we've got the name of the product in here automatically. And there's a lot of ways in which you can do that uh, to make it easier. The insert text step is really just to save you the trouble of having to either use uh, a text editor or manually go in and replace all those quotations with backspace quotation. Um, and that's it. It could also be useful maybe for doing an execute SQL where you have field names that have spaces and maybe a few other areas. Hopefully you find that helpful.